Um, our airwaves should be used to advance fundamental ideals like free speech, association, and democracy. Authoritarian regimes like those in Russia and China, however, are using this resource instead to watch and track their people, spread disinformation, and shut down free speech. And that's why it's as important as ever that the US and like-minded countries lead in the development and deployment of these technologies so that our public interest principles are at the center of any technological progress. So I wanted to ask Mr. Geis, can you explain, expand how we keep the public interest at the forefront of our spectrum policy? Uh, thank you, Chairman Pullen, for the question. It's, it is a critical uh, aspect that we need to pursue. The public interest has been the driving the driver underneath our spectrum policy for decades, uh, focusing on ensuring that communities, uh, low-income communities, communities of color, and other have that opportunity to get connected is important, and ensuring that that technology is open is important, so that we all have a right and an ability to speak on these on these networks. Um, I think as we as we look forward to how we do that, making certain that we address digital equity concerns, as you raised in your opening statement is an important step. Using auction revenues to advance that is important, and that doesn't have to compete with some of the other public interest uh, needs that I know a number of members on this committee are looking at.